Hi, this is Paul from CountryCraziness.com. I have seven good reasons why Adam and I are going to be building our houses using post beam construction. And I'm going to share those reasons with you now. So stay tuned. We had a lot of good experiences building our pole barn this last year. And we learned a lot about how that construction method it works and the more that we learned about it the more we realized that it has some real inherent advantages not only for that type of building but we're learning that this used a lot in commercial buildings and things of that nature also and it's a growing trend for people to use them in building housing there's a lot of good reasons to consider this type of construction method if you are going to be building a house first of all a pole building gives you a large open space. One of the reasons why they're so popular with ag buildings is that it gives you an area where you can drive trucks and tractors and all kinds of stuff and you don't have to worry about hitting a post or a beam. Um, so if you're looking at a housing application, you've got no interior load bearing walls at all, which makes interior construction much easier. And if you're somebody that wants to do some of the work yourself, makes it much more feasible. In this day of open uh, concept housing, this is the perfect way to go. It also makes it easier for the DIYer, if they want to do some of the finishing themselves, to be able to erect interior walls. Or for that matter, once you're an owner of a building, if your requirements change, you can move walls around a lot easier without having to worry about whether or not they've been engineered and part of the support structure. The second thing we really like about this type of construction is that it's strong inherently by its design. In the area where we live, I'm not going to say it's a lot of tornadoes that we get. It's not Tornado Alley, but it's certainly an area where we get a lot of severe weather, heavy winds, tornadoes, thunderstorms. And it's the kind of thing where extra strength in a building can be very important. I think if I had a conventional house sitting on the same property and a tornado went through, I'll put my bet on the post building being able to survive it. The next thing that we really like about this type of construction is that it's energy efficient. By its very nature, you can get more insulation into a post frame building because you don't have studs located every 16 or 24 inches on center. Therefore, more insulation in between each supporting member. The next thing that we really like about this type of construction is you can finish it off to look on the outside just like any other house. You can get stone, vinyl, brick, steel. You can get anything you want. You can make your building look just like you would any other house. You've got unlimited options when it comes to aesthetics. The shorter construction time of this type of building makes it so that my son can start out planning the building in January and we'll know be, he'll be able to get into it in the same year. When they did the pole barn, it took them seven days to get it framed and then another couple of weeks to get it finished. And if it wasn't for all the bad weather we had, it would have been a lot faster. So we're figuring even taking into account the fact that we're going to have to have people coming in and doing plumbing and electric and things of that nature. Um, the process of building this is going to be a much faster cycle. It's one of the other things is that it's environmentally friendly. Not only are you saving energy, but you're also saving the amount of construction materials that you need. A lot less wood means a lot fewer dollars that you have to invest. So to, so to summarize, we've got large open spans. They're very strong. They're energy efficient. They've got good aesthetics. They use less material, they use less labor, and overall their cost is less. Those are seven pretty good reasons on why to consider post-beam uh, post construction for your housing project also. I'm going to put some links at the end of this video to get you started in some other directions. If you haven't already subscribed, please do leave your comments down below. We'd love to hear from you. We try to answer every question that we get. Until next time. This is Paul from CountryCraziness.com. Have a good day. Bye-bye.